my dear friends learn with fun with the spider man at college so my dear friends i always enjoy while working so learn with fun with this spider man hat wale uncle and you know you can make it easy to learn the things right so this is the series test lamp today i will tell you and there is a low volt tester multimeter so let us proceed and start practically my dear friends have my salute from electric uncle head wale so today i brought you again to check a domestic room meter there are halogen rods inside what is halogen rod there is a element inside the tube okay it got uh, break up while using and when it is hot you put it with a jerk so it got destroyed so how to check that suppose one rod is okay one rod is not working so today we will proceed for that how to repair after testing your damaged room heater element right how i will use this i have modified little bit you see i told you before this is a series test lab going to here hmm plug in the supply and in between this black neutral wire i cut it and put this socket made one this socket to test with wire and i put it here now if there will be continuity in the black wire means heater is okay element is not broken if the lamp doesn't glow it means the element is broken so we will put both sides and we will check very simple this halogen in the room heater how to check it so how we will do like this and always use these gloves for this test series lamp this is this is a 230 volt we are working and use rubber sole shoes right to protect yourself now what we will do we will put the element and we will touch it is okay if it doesn't glow means that rod is element is broken from inside so this is the way of it and we will use all the methods all the three methods this is low volt complete safe right when we will touch it it will glow it will show continuity means element is correct if doesn't glow means element is broken and same this multimeter these two methods are safe they doesn't need glove so this and that they are at low voltage so with this meter we can check if there is continuity buzzer will there and the reading will change here if it is broken there will be no buzzer there will be no continuity no reading in this meter and this meter is very useful multimeter you can check minus uh, dc voltage ac voltage continuity open circuit short circuit if the circuit is short it will give the buzzer right so let us move with the heat i had this room meter at my home and one rod stop working so i just repair it and make a video for you as how to get it tested open circuit test short circuit test or there is a in wire so my this rod is left hand side not working right and there are two switches for the each rod to get on off this is the series test lamp i show you before 
so first i will make test with it but mind it always use as we have practice so we can do it but you please don't do it now this lamp is glowing even the rod is not working why because there are the wires connected on both the ends of both rods so it is getting continuity from the other rod which is working so you see this is the low volt tester better to prefer low volt tester so it will show the continuity now after removing the wire from one end of each rod the exact test we can make it so so first i will remove the wires then we will see it again because now it is showing continuity at all the points even the rod is damaged one rod it should not show but it is showing due to these wires so first remove the wire from the one end of the each rod then test it properly so now both the ends two ends of the both rods are free so now i will show the one rod the lamp will not glow so first let us check this cable also maybe there is a break in the cable so there is a switch micro switch which got closed due to the floor and first we will measure this cable with this series test lamp we'll put at one end of the plug one point and other point of that micro switch so let us check this now it will not glow we have removed the wires because this rod is not working this is open from inside means broken the element of this rod and this should work this will work you see means it is giving continuity this is called continuity test and this is called open test open circuit the circuit is open means element is broken and short circuit is to measure the rods with the earthing point or we'll check the cable the wire is okay yeah lamp is glowing now we will check other point switch is open therefore it will not glow from this point it will lamp will glow see so this is the continuity test for the cable cable is okay only this heater hour is got damaged this is the low volt testing i'm showing you all the three methods series lamp now glow and then we will come to the meter also we can check this wire also continuity of this wire the lamp should glow the wire is going to that end now it is glowing see means it is okay so one by one there are two wires two points so we have to check separately now with the meter there will be no continuity there will be no reading and uh, one thing more the buzzer will not sound because there is a resistance in the heater due to this resistance in the heater which is the correct this is okay and it is showing resistance of the element so due to that resistance buzzer doesn't blow so now we will get it open and take out this rod on a screw now there is a metallic strip we will remove that strip only and the rod will be out 
so i purchased the rod before one is damaged here one is correct the new so it will show the continuity and other one which is damaged it will not show the continuity so this is called open circuit test the element is open from inside the tube there is a spring type element inside this glass tube so it got open broken and it is correct this is low voltage tester showing the light and with the multimeter also you will see the reading not buzzer there will be no change only one will remain there this rod is broken inside and this it will show the continuity there is 115 120 this is the value of the resistance of that element inside the heater so there is continuity just now what we will do again we will replace the new rod and after replacing it you know step by step check it continuously so while you are installing it replacing it it can damage so before closing everything step by step check it two three times it is okay so now we can fit this and after fitting it again we will make a check because you know due to these installation work this is the sophisticated the element it can break again so after is screwing everything this is the earth point we can check the continuity for the short circuit also with this earth point if the rod is earthed or not with the same way with this testing uh, meters hmm? now you see the switch is okay i am pressing the micro switch so side by side check these switches also one switch for one rod so they should work perfectly and the wires try to be away from the steel sheet behind this rods so that they should not get heated up not get short with the body so now finally we will check it ah it is okay that's it both are working continuity is there and now we can close it and we will check by pressing with hand this micro switch and one by one one switch so gentlemen this is the way and it's very easy take it everything light in a light way okay see you hope oh, my dear friends you might have learned with these things right and uh, just make practice this is for absolute beginners how to repair small equipments of your home how to check with the help of this heater video repairing the heater you might learn a lot of things this is for a practice only i make this video so any equipment in your home the same way you can proceed and i think no need to say again and again i should thanks you to subscribe share so this video should reach to the needy students from my free education platform so see you in next video